food in my belly, I'm set, mister. Now let's just hope no one saw them posters. This is a second chance for us. We're grateful. We ain't looking to buddy up with no one else. This big fool here is enough of a burden. Happy to, you know. Oh, you kind, mister. If it yeah, be so kind to take me to Legras, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in Legras, no. You know, horse can swim fine as a duck, be much more use to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time and took up by with a rifle on him. Fine is no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Legras? Well, that's not like this. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I ask you. Bet it was a long time. No fence. But I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I'd never leave my home. You won't call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no war, ain't no boss man, ain't no train gonna take that from me. That's optimistic, ma'am, I'll say that. No, mister. I'll die for me and mine, and that's the damn truth. No word of a lie. But you kind, mister. We getting close, don't die or not. Thank you, 
mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animal. Where's this shot? Whoa.
shot! You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent N nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! Watch, you little weasel! I don't know nothing about no... Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help! I, help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer, help! <sighs> Thank you. 
along with you, honey. Hey, folks. Hey, mister. Hello. Envy? Hello, sir. Didn't your mama teach you better? How then? Good day. Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was found. Beg your pardon. Oh, come on. Please take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. Cream it too. Lady, 
I need a ticket, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to share with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring through the heavens in flying machines so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle. But I assure you, everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelties and injustices of travel by horse, wagon, or locomotive. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth, but I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claims. For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers, but a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce, oars can be used in the skies to hasten your voyage and keep the passengers active while they travel. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can mount the saddle and ride away. With this incredible contraption, one can enjoy some popcorn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach Robert will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight achieved by performers in the circus. Mr. Nichols has perfected the Sky Cannon. Passengers simply walk up the steps, relax into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The lame and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows, and are off to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by and by.
you had a nice time. Thank you. 